Oh my goodness, I am so happy you are here. Welcome to my channel and to this video, let's get rolling. We're gonna be measuring tire tread today. Keep in mind, I am not a mechanic whatsoever, just a DIYer, but I got myself this fancy little tool. I got it online, super cheap. Recommend having one of those in your toolbox. You can also check tire tread using the old penny trick and the quarter trick. We'll be uh, covering that today. Anyway, before we head out to the garage, let me show you how this little thing works. This is pretty cool when you push it flat like this. It's got a little pin on the underside of it and it tells you, boom, you're in the red. In other words, you have no tread whatsoever, right? And as that pin goes into the tire tread, and I'll show you where I put mine here in a second, we will depress this until the pin stops. Thus it measures how deep your tire tread is. Get the point? Pretty simple, right? Now this is measured in 32, 30 seconds. 32 equals one inch. And if you know a thing or two about math, why don't they call it eighth? Why don't they use eighths of an inch or sixteenths? Well, 32 gives you the most accurate measurement. If it only used eighths and your measurement said like, say three eighths, that would be less accurate than using 32 as uh, your inch measurement. So. Uh, what I'm going to do here, I've, I've just kind of got this little, uh, put a mark on my furniture. I used pencil, don't worry, I will erase it. But the idea here is if you put your penny into the tread, uh, if it shows a certain amount, and you can certainly Google the penny trick online, right? You know, the quarter trick, some people use a quarter. But the idea here is if you're, if it protrudes the top of the head, and it's got to be upside down, uh, then that is an indicator that your tire needs to be replaced. So uh, instead, I'm going to be using this tool. I find it much more comforting knowing that I'm using a proper tool. It's, not, it's less ambiguous, right? And it gives me exact measurements. And I'm going to put those three measurements on my actual uh, piece of furniture here. The pencil marking on the very left is 230 seconds, and that means tire failure. If you're that thin, you have an emergency situation. In the middle, it's 430 seconds, and my place that I take my tires, discount tire recommends replacement at 430 seconds of an inch. And uh, the one on the right is about 830 seconds of an inch, which is kind of normal wear after, I don't know, a year or two, at least in my tire situation. Uh, and they do come new at 1130 seconds. You should note, you don't actually get them new at 30, so you don't have a full inch of tread on your tires. That would be a monster tire, right? By the way, I would forever love you if you click that like button if this video is helping you out. Subscribe and share if you know somebody who might benefit from this video. I'd appreciate that. All right, let's get back to business here. So check out your tire. We're going to move out into the garage here. Uh, one of our vehicles has tires that actually have uh, little grooves on the inside of the tread. Can you see the, those little like strips? So you have to be careful your tool measurement, uh, your measurement tool doesn't get uh, placed on top of that. So you might want to look at the side of your tire before you just start putting that tool in there to get the measurement because you might come back uh, inaccurate. Our other vehicle does not have these. Check out this tire. It's just uh, a pretty much a straight groove. There are no little cross sections inside there. So uh, let's get out the trusty penny. You can see here where the penny, you can see, um, you cannot see the top of its head, so the tire tread in theory should be good, right? But how many 30 seconds um, of an inch remain on the tread itself? Here's what it looks like on the, uh, with the with the quarter. So you can see the quarter penny trick can be helpful, but it again, doesn't give you an exact measurement. So let's bust out this baby. And uh, by the way, I'll put links down below for this and other tools that uh, you see in this video. This is a very affordable tool. Like I said, recommend having it in the garage. I picked mine up for five or six bucks. Uh, you might be able to get a better deal out there, but that's generally what, what it costs. And I'm really happy with this one. So put it in that inner groove there, making sure it uh, goes into the deepest part of the groove, right? Um, and go ahead and depress it. And then you can get uh, a reading. There's not a lot of bounce or play in this. So uh, it slides smoothly up and down. And that's what I want. I don't want ambiguity. You can see it's reading about seven thirty seconds of an inch in this particular case, which is, looks like about that thick with that pin depressed. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And uh, just because you have a measurement on one tire doesn't mean you should assume that's the same on all tires. Your tires can apparently wear, uh, as they tell me, your tires can wear unevenly, right? So you have to rotate them regularly and whatnot. Now be careful, like I was saying, you have to put it on the deepest part of the groove. It's, if it happens to be sitting on the cross check or the cross section inside the groove, you're gonna get a shallow, much shallower reading, right? Look at that. 
And okay, we'll go ahead and get to the back tire now and do the other four tires as well. And your depth might vary. So pay attention to that, write it down and rotate your tires frequently. This is the sheet that I use. I uh, last time I got my tires rotated, they gave me this and they checked it out professionally as well or measured them professionally as well. So my tires happen to be sitting at about seven to eight thirty seconds of an inch well within the green range. And by the way, they do recommend you change them every six years or so. This is according to discount tire where I like to get my tires done. They have pretty good service. So hopefully this has helped you out. Thanks.